last point, um, I said this this morning. We know that when women organise, when women organise explicitly on feminist terms, it starts causing a bit of ructions. We have experienced that already. <laughs> but anything that we've done has been quite peaceful. You know, we've been signing petitions and writing letters and moving motions and saying things in the telly and writing columns in the, in the newspapers. But we experienced resistance. Um, I wrote a column in The National last week, I think it was, pointing out that whilst women are unequal, men experience privilege because of that. If women are paid less than men, that means men are paid more than women. It's a simple arithmetical equation. And for there to be common respect across women's movements on the left, particularly, there needs to be an acknowledgement of privilege. But that column that I wrote in The National, you know, obviously read by uh, the predominant people who support independence and part of that wider progressive movement, I was talking about women's inequality in relation to violence, domestic abuse, the risk of murder, the lack of pay, I mean, like really horrible things, murder and mayhem. And I made a 